Good to see you. Today we are talking about magnetic levitation. How does it work? What is it? Where did it come from? Stay tuned. Hey! My name is Jonathan Allers. I'm the host here at Destructive Creativity. It's good to see you. Today we are going over electromagnetic levitation, which is super cool because it looks like magic. But it's not. It's science. So that being said, destructive creativity exists for you, for science, and for fun. I'm going to bring lots of different gadgets and toys and hopefully explain to you how they work. Okay, so let's go over exactly what's happening here. So I will return this to my daughter eventually. Uh... <laughs> Anywho, now this platform is levitating above the magnets beneath it using a series of ferromagnets and electromagnets. And we'll cover that in a little bit more detail later. But first, let's just, I'm going to show you exactly that this thing actually is levitating. Oh, that's too big. Oh, we'll just take that off. So I can put this cup, this glass, all the way around it. There is no strings attached. Honestly, I was really excited when this came in the mail. I did order it online. I ordered it from a Chinese site and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it works amazing. Now, I'm sure you've all seen a couple of those videos online showing that levitation is possible, but usually it's just a flat box with a platform over top of it and something's levitating, maybe spinning around with uh, lights or something, something similar to this over here. This, I've taken it apart. I want to show you the inner workings so that you know how it works. It's really cool. Let's go over this right now. So this platform is a neodymium magnet disc. So there's a north pole and a south pole. One on the top, one on the bottom. That's the way magnets work, you see. Okay, so <laughs> that's all this is. This magnet is fairly powerful, which is why you don't want to let go of it, just kind of toss it towards this, uh, this base, because this is a very large magnet as well. So I'm just going to place this off to the side so that it isn't going to snap together and break in half, because that can happen. So now I'm going to unplug this here. Okay. Hold this up. So what we've got here is a ring of a ferromagnet, a ferromagnetic ring going all the way around the outside. The north pole of that magnet is facing up. And it's important to note that the south pole of this disc magnet is facing down. So this really wants to click instantly down to that ring magnet anywhere along there. And it's pretty hard to get it away, but it won't crush you or anything. Now, without power, there's no chance that levitation can occur because this disc will always be sucked down toward the other magnet because north attracts to south and south attracts to north of the poles of the magnet, that is. Now, what's special about this is there are four electromagnets inside of here. And these are just coils of wire that when you run a current through them, creates a magnet. And these are running in the opposite direction in regards to the poles as this fer ring ferromagnet around the outside. So when it's plugged in, there is an equal opposing force on the inside as there is the attraction force on the outside. At its most basic level, that is how the magnetic levitation works. It's both being attracted to and repelled by the ferromagnetic ring and the electromagnets. Now it's not plugged in, so it's not going to work. But let's just try this again here. I'll plug it in. So right now, it is being attracted by that. Oh, I'll do it this way. It's being attracted by that ring and repelled exactly equal force by the electromagnet. See, there it snapped like that because it was a little bit off balance. It does have a bit of leeway if it's out of balance a tiniest bit, but you want to try and get it as level as possible before you start. So let me try this again here. There we go. So it's levitating because it is locked in position. It's being pulled down, but also repelled by the electromagnet. So yay, I have a display for my uh, juggling ball that looks like it's magic. That's really cool. But what are some of the practical applications of this technology? Well, maglev trains is definitely one that is used around the world to make trains go faster than anyone thought possible. 
Some facts about these super cool maglev trains, well they can go up to 430 kilometers per hour. That's amazingly fast. There's no fuel being burned so there's no air pollution. It's not actually touching the ground so the ride is incredibly smooth. These are really cool machines. Because of the usefulness of magnetic levitated trains, really that has been the industry that has been driving this technology forward. The first ever patent detailing the physics and concept of a maglev train occurred in 1967 by Dr. Gordon Danby and James Powell. Uh, famously, uh, <laughs> Dr. Danby uh, first thought of the idea while stuck in car traffic because he was just so bored. That's a pretty good use of your time if you're stuck in traffic. I remember that next time you're stuck. Just come up with a brand new innovative way for transportation. Always a good idea. Sadly, this technology has never caught on in North America. There used to be a slow maglev train in Great Britain, but it got decommissioned because it was just the only one of its kind and was too expensive to upkeep. Now before I leave you today, I do want to just show you a little bit in more detail this device that I have here. So what we have here, I'll just turn it off once more, because it's not quite as easy as just finding a ring magnet and throwing in some uh, electromagnets on the inside. You see, there is a few more components that are a little bit too complicated for myself to understand. I know there's resistors and capacitors, and because this is the 21st century, it makes it a lot easier to level it out. So instead of fiddling around with these set screws trying to get it just perfectly right, it will actually vary the power going to each electromagnet and adjust it accordingly so that it stays levitated directly above it. So much I don't understand. It's awesome. <laughs> This has been a short little feature on one of the coolest tech toys that I've ever been privy to in my own household. I hope you have fun, stay safe. If you like this, feel free to slam that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel because we have new content coming out every single week. For Destructive Creativity, I am Jonathan Allard.